Well, up until about 20 minutes ago, I thought the engine was completely seized up. I pulled the uh, primary cover off, uh, including uh, the clutch, and I was able to, uh, with a very small crescent wrench, uh, grab onto the uh, crankshaft uh, main bolt there on the uh, left-hand side of the bike and turn the engine over. So, uh, obviously the engine is not seized up, but I was still unable to uh, use the kickstart. So that might indicate there's something uh, wrong in the transmission. But literally, I uh, took the uh, bolts out holding on the transmission, except for this top one, and look. Uh, really, really good compression still. Last time I tested, I was getting anywhere from uh, 92 up to 101 uh, pounds uh, out of each cylinder. So I've drained the transmission. Uh, next, I'm going to show how to uh, take off the transmission decorative cover. Uh, you can leave both the kickstart on and the uh, gear shift uh, mechanism on. I left uh, one nut in. There's a nut down bottom and top. Uh, the rest are uh, very long uh, screws with a number one Phillips head. A uh, trick to taking off this uh, side here uh, with the uh, kickstart is you got to remove uh, tension. You don't want the gears inside touching each other. So somewhere uh, in between, just, and you can just grab that. Uh, you don't have to take off the gear shift indicator and just kind of watch that washer. And just kind of wiggle it back and forth, up and down. And she'll come out. Of course, you're going to lose some fluid. Now, there's a lot of tension on the spring so with your hand. Release the tension, let the uh, kickstart rotate back around. And on the inside, you can see there's the spring and the engagement system. Be careful that uh, either detent for the transmission uh, gear shift selector uh, doesn't fall out. So I'm going to take this uh, along with the, uh, the washer that fell out. Yeah, I don't see it right now. I have to collect that later and uh, start investigating. Looks like you got a little bit of rust there on that nut. Uh, we'll see uh, what we find from there. But uh, everything looks beautifully clean for a bike that's never been restored. Uh, appears to be some metal in the uh, transmission fluid. Actually quite a bit of metal. So hopefully we can just find a uh, torn up bearing or bearing surface in there. We can uh, do some machining. Maybe even find a replacement case. So. It looks like we're going to be tearing into the transmission, uh, and you never know, maybe just go for an entire engine rebuild, try and get rid of uh, some of the oil leaks.